Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our first official edition of Wildcard Tuesday for July 16th, 2019. I'm your host, Steve, and I just choked on some water <clears throat> right before I went live. All right. Awesome. So uh, this is going to be a special summer series that I will be doing, uh, combining both the Tuesday News Day and my Wild Card Wednesday. Uh, we will not be officially having any Wednesday shows uh, now through the end of August. Uh, I still might do a couple of shows on Wednesday, but nothing will be officially scheduled. So, uh, so what we're going to do on these shows, we will uh, take a look at the news uh, that we're following here from the news desk, uh, and then we will go into our game. Uh, our game this week is going to feature Soccer Blast and the newly released 2018-19 English Pro League set. Uh, we will be playing Liverpool, taking on Chelsea, so that should be a, an exciting matchup uh, between two of the better squads from last year's season. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at a couple of news stories uh, that we are following here. Uh, so first off, uh, Uplink Underground is finally ready to launch their much-anticipated crowd sale on the Game Crafter website. They have released a teaser video. Uh, that I've put a link to that below on YouTube so you can find out exactly what a crowd sale means and uh, get an idea of what you will be getting. Uh, and I just got uh, some breaking news this morning that they are anticipating the date to be August 11th through August 18th. They've submitted that to Game Crafter as the time that they want to launch the crowd sale. Uh, and as soon as I get an official confirmation on that, I will let you guys know. Uh, so basically a crowd sale is the more people that buy into it, the bigger the discount is. So if you could potentially save uh, up to 30 to 40 percent on a purchase. Uh, they will have an available bundle that will have everything that has come out so far, uh, including all of the expansions. So if you have not gotten breakaway football, this will be a fantastic time. Uh, to uh, to dive into it. Uh, so again, tentatively scheduled for August 11th through 18th, the crowd sale for Breakaway Football. In other news, last week we told you about the imminent launch of Play Now. This is a a second uh, brand for Play uh, that will feature not necessarily sports related games although their first title is uh, sports themed uh, and that is they the re-release of fury football is now available as well as five different expansions and two of those are previously unavailable sets so there's eight new teams uh, if you were not able to pick up fury football during the um, the holiday sale that play had last year uh, so all of these games uh, are available as a pdf download uh, so you can get the base game for just nine dollars uh, the expansions are six dollars each the play now site is live uh, so you can see all of those there uh, and they even have a little teaser for what their second game is going to be twisted fate cowboys versus aliens uh, so just a quick little blurb uh, about this being a, a deck and dice adventure game uh, and that it is coming soon, uh, set to launch sometime this fall. So there you have it. Uh, if you missed getting Fury Football during the holiday sale, now is your chance to pick it up. Uh, and it has been reworked a little bit. So if you happen to see my video that I did on the Play YouTube channel uh, for the Christmas special, uh, the uh, game components have been redesigned a little bit. And uh, so it looks a little bit different from what you see in that video, but uh, you can definitely get a good idea of what the game is all about. Uh, additionally, there is a Play Now community over on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, you can connect with other Football Fury fans and uh, join in on the, the Play Now community. Uh, it is a public group, so you can see it even if you don't join it. Uh, you just won't be able to post there unless you join. All right, uh, that is all the news for now. So here we are. We have the 2018-19 English Pro season set for Soccer Blast. Uh, this set is out now. Uh, you can pick it up as a, um, a pre-printed set for $29, or the PDF is $21, delivered right to your inbox. Uh, and we will indeed be playing Liverpool against Chelsea. Uh, so let's head on down to our tabletop and get things going. 
All right, so here we are on our on our pitch here. Uh, so now this is not the game board that originally comes with Soccer Blast. Uh, this was actually designed by a friend of the show, Bob Hansen, and it is a mat from Inked Gaming. Um, so you just download the uh, the file and send it off to Inked Gaming. Uh, you can get yourself a, a nice neoprene mat. Uh, what I really like about this is that it has a spot to keep track of the referees and their disposition towards your team, uh, hostile, neutral, or friendly. Uh, I'm going to start both teams out as neutral. Uh, Liverpool is going to be our visiting squad, and Chelsea will will be the home squad. And I think that we are ready to get underway. I will just say I'm going to apologize ahead of time for any names that I mispronounce, and then I will apologize for again for any names that I completely butcher. Uh, so with that said, um, we will <laughs> get underway. Uh, welcome to uh, to anyone who was able to join us. Uh, having a, a show like this earlier in the morning, for those of us on the East Coast, allows me to connect with some of my friends from across the pond. So uh, so welcome to Mr. Moley in, uh, in the chat room. Uh, if you're here, let me know. Uh, I will be happy to... Uh, answer any questions you might have. Um, otherwise, sit back and relax, and let's play some Soccer Blast. All right, so um, get my my other pawn out here to uh, denote who has the ball, who has it in control. I'll have it up here when Liverpool is controlling, uh, and down here when it's Chelsea. And then I have a another pawn that I will use to uh, remind me who is going to be assisting on the play. All right, so uh, Liverpool... We'll get the, the opening half kickoff. They'll have the ball first, and uh, Chelsea will get it second in the second half. All right, so here we go. We are underway. So always a great day for a game of Soccer Blast. All right, here we go. So uh, if this is your first time seeing a Soccer Blast game, I'll walk through the first few possessions uh, a little slowly. And then get things up to game speed as we go along. Uh, so basically the game is broken down into minutes. Um, each minute of play, uh, something potentially exciting could happen. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to roll three dice, a green, a black, and a white. The green die will tell you which uh, position you're going to um, flip the stack. So there are ten uh, footballers out on the, the pitch at any one time. Um, in these five positions, but they are in stacks of two, uh, and so this kind of in an abstract way represents the players are on the pitch, but uh, they are maybe out of position, they've been blocked out by their opposing player, um, so this is just a way to rotate different, different players in and out, so that's the first thing you do on the green die, and then you combine the black and the white and see what happens there. So in this case, we're going to have a midfield battle at seven. So they're battling for control in the middle of the field. We'll use the uh, what the green die result is. And it is a five. <clears throat> so this tells us we're going to mark, mark off five minutes of play. So they're going to be battling for five minutes. And then uh, the next minute, we will start with an attack for the team that has the most players with tactics. So all the players uh, have potentially six different qualities listed on their card. Uh, for Liverpool, uh, let's see, they have four, uh, just Alexander-Arnold is the only one without tactics, and Chelsea only has three, so that means that Liverpool will be on the attack first here in the six minute of play. So, what happens on the attack? We're going to roll all three dice again. Again, we will change the green die player. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the offensive strength of the attacking team, in this case Liverpool, against the defensive strength of uh, Chelsea. So the black die, what we're looking for is we're going to count the number of triangles, which represents their ability to create offense, uh, their offensive mindedness. Uh, so uh, Salah has three on his own, and then Firmino 
uh, has two. So they have a total of five, and what we're looking for is we need the black die to be equal to or less than the total of the triangles. So in this case, they made it, so their offense is good, but then the defense has a chance to counter, and what we're looking for is the square. So the squares, the inverse of the triangles, they uh, denote a player's defensive prowess and ability to stop an offense from getting a shot off. Uh, so right now they have one, two, three, and so for the offense to be successful, it needs to be greater than the number of squares, which in this case they got a six. So this will be a good shot on goal. And so what we're going to do, the green die will again serve double duty. That's going to tell us who, which uh, position is assisting. So we'll put that white pawn there to remind us that it's going to come from the number three spot. And then we total the black and, and uh, white die together, and we get a 10. And we'll go here to the attack. And on 10, for non-target, that tells us that it's the shot is going to come from the second spot. And in this case, it's going to be a fantastic shot, and the goalie needs to make a spectacular save. So Henderson with a pass to Firmino, and they're going to catch... <laughs> Ariz, uh, hmm. Ariza Balaga? I think I got that pretty close. Uh, the, the goalkeeper for Chelsea. He potentially might be out of position. Um, so we are going to roll again down on the spectacular save chart. All right. Um, all right. So here we go. We'll roll. Uh, this time we're just going to roll the, um, uh, the black and the white die together. And what we're going to look at is the spec save rating for the goalkeeper. In this case, um, Erza Balaga has four stars, so he's actually really good making a spectacular save. So the total there is four, and at four it just says that it's saved. Oh boy, so Firmino gets off a fantastic shot, um, but Erza Balaga makes a fantastic save. Just gets a fingertip on it, and... Um, and that will be a, a save there for Chelsea, uh, for Chelsea. Keeps them off the board. And then the next minute, we'll start with a corner kick for Liverpool. All right, so spectacular save for Chelsea at the sixth minute of play. And now we will start the seventh minute on a corner kick. So a corner kick, uh, we will again roll all three dice. And uh, if the result is a one through five, we'll get a special result here. Um, otherwise, we will go back to the main chart. And I've been told that I have butchered my first name. So there we go. I, I, I knew it wouldn't take long. Maybe I should just call him Keppa for the goalkeeper. That seems easier. All right, so uh, the corner kick. So we will first do the green die. That's the first thing you always do. And this time we got a total of four. Uh, so they are going to get an attack, another attack for Liverpool. And this time it's going to be with no squares. So a uh, fantastic corner kick sets them up for uh, an attack that catches the defense off guard. All right. So we will attack again. We'll rotate number five. So all we need to do is just have enough triangles, and indeed uh, Salah just by himself has three. So this will be another on-target attack. All right, so uh, the assist is going to come from number five, and with a total of four, the shot is going to come from number one. And again, we're going to go right to the spectacular save chart. All right, so uh, 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 Fabino uh, passed to Salah, and there's the shot. Let's see what happens. We get a total of 10, and oh, it's off the crossbar goal. Oh, there we go. So Salah gets a, a goal off a nice corner kick, and it is one to nothing. Liverpool, the assist by uh, Fabino. All right, so there we go. Liverpool on the board, one to nothing here in just the seventh minute of play. So it's been all Liverpool so far, uh, and uh, Chelsea has not had the ball down uh, on the attack, but they will get the kickoff here and see if they can answer back. All right, so Liverpool the ball will rotate 
number five. And let's see, they get a 10. So at 10, it is a potential tackle. So as long as there is one player on the defense that has a square, that means that they get a, a good tackle and take the ball away. So uh, they, let's see, they have two out right now, uh, Firmino and Milner. So it'll be a turnover on Chelsea. No shots. And Liverpool going the other way. Here we are in the ninth minute of play. All right, so when a green die six comes up, uh, that means that we are going to rotate both the defensive and offensive players. So the white die of three will rotate there, and black die of four will rotate the next one. And a seven is going to be another midfield battle. This time it's going to be six minutes of play that they'll be battling in midfield. And this time we're looking for the star quality. So let's see, we have one, two, three, oh, all five players for Liverpool have the star quality. And against four for Chelsea. So again, this will be Liverpool going on the attack now in the 15th minute of play. All right, so Liverpool on the attack. We'll change number four. Let's see, they just need one triangle. They definitely have that. And let's see. Oh, but Chelsea is going to defend as they have three squares between them. The white die of three. So that means we will have our first defended goal. All right. So we'll look the total of four there. So let's see. It's Alonzo with a shot wide. And now we need to look at the player at the three spot. And if he has the circle... That means that he'll collect it and they'll go uh, the other way. So the circle represents their ability. Um, it's kind of a combination of uh, not really offense or defense, but uh, a player's ability to kind of see the field, see the play developing, um, kind of their overall uh, acumen to the game. So uh, indeed, William does have that circle. So he will collect the rebound and it will be a... Um, a missed shot for Liverpool. And it will be Chelsea going the other way here in the 16th minute of play. It is 1-0 one, one right now with Chelsea or with Liverpool out in front. A 7th minute goal from Salah. All right, so here we go. 8 is going to be a build-up. So uh, what we're looking for here, uh, green die of 5, is for tactics. The offensive team has one, two, three. Uh, the defensive team has one, two, three, four. Liverpool, a tough squad. All right, so on a buildup, if the defensive team wins, that means that they're able to, uh, to take possession of the ball away from the offensive team. They don't allow them to set up their offense. And so that's what happens there. So it'll be no shot for Chelsea. And they will go the other way. If uh, if Chelsea had um, more tactics qualities, then they would have created an attack uh, in that same minute. But we're going the other way here. Liverpool back on offense. Let's see. And this time, nine, we are going to have a sideline battle. So with a five or a four, we will mark off two minutes of play. And then we are going to go to the out-of-bounds ruling and see what the referee says. This time we get a three, so it's the team with the most circles uh, is going to get the throw in. So one, two, three, four, five, six for Liverpool. Wow. And one, two, three, four for Chelsea. So Liverpool will have the ball on a sideline throw in. We're in the 19th minute of play here. It's 1-0 Liverpool out in front. Uh, and it has pretty much been all Liverpool so far on the attack. All right, so this time we will get, it's going to be another buildup. And this time we are looking for the hard quality. So Liverpool has one, two, three, all five, uh, and only two for Chelsea. So this will be another attack, their fourth time going on the attack. All right, so here we go. We will go to the attack column. Let's see, two, that will definitely be enough for the offense. And four. Four is going to be more. They uh, Chelsea just has three, so this will be an on-target shot. So our green die tells us where the assist is going to come from. And with a total of six, that means the shot is going to come from the number three spot. All right, so this will be a, um, a shot on goal. So we will roll again. 
So again, we will rotate number three. All right, so for a normal shot on goal, what we're looking for is the total power of the shot. And so we're gonna combine the assist and the shot rating. And unfortunately, it's Henderson at the number three spot and his shot rating is a pair of scissors. Uh, so that means he's gonna cut the total in half. Milner only has an assist of one. Uh, so this will be, um, well, you'd round down, so it'd be a zero, but one is the, the least that you can have. Uh, so it's a shot power of one. The black die is over that, so that means it'll be a saved shot. So we add the total up, it's an eight. So Henderson's shot is, is stopped and then is collected uh, by Louise on the rebound. All right, so another missed shot, but an on-target shot for Liverpool. And another save for Keppa, and we are going the other way. We're already at the 20th minute of play here in this matchup of two of the powerhouse teams in the EPL. All right, so Chelsea going the other way. Rotate number one. Eight is going to be another buildup. At one, we are looking for the pace quality, and Chelsea has two. Liverpool has four, so again, Liverpool defense holding tough. And Allison in goal has not had to do anything so far. All right, Liverpool now going the other way. Five, that is going to be our first referee decision. All right, so we will go to the referee decision chart. And this is where the disposition of the referee uh, comes in. So right now, both teams starting at neutral. So we will look in the neutral column here. Let's see, we get a total of four. Let's see, on a roll of one to five on the green, defense trap works and offside is called. All right. So the Chelsea defense gets an offside call and it'll be no shots for Liverpool and Chelsea now going the other way. All right, um, let's see. Um, question about the, the zero shot. Um, that's, I suppose, kind of a house rule that I've adopted. Um, I believe that Keith, uh, the designer of the game, has weighed in on that uh, and that it shouldn't sway the game too much. Uh, basically, what I like to think is that uh, an attack should always have at least a chance of going in or being on target. Um, and especially when you have a, a, a much stronger team taking on a, a weaker team. <clears throat> so I always play it that um, that the least you can have is a, a one-star shot and then hope you get a one on the black die. I believe in the original rules it did say you could get a zero, um, but it has been sort of uh, house-ruled since then. So, um, But certainly you can play uh, that way that um, a team can get can have a zero and yes and then hope for a rebound shot but i i play it that the lowest you can go is down to a one power so thank you for uh, the question robert and uh, thanks for tuning in here all right so here we go uh it's chelsea going the other way and we get a total of 10 which we know that's the tackle quality or the tackle chance and indeed that'll happen so chelsea is just not gotten anything going so far been all Liverpool. All right, so this is going to be our our first take on. So when you get a six, so a take on, it's similar to a build up, except that you're just looking at uh, an individual matchup between two players and use the dice uh, to see who that is going to be. So in this case, uh, it's going to be between Salah and Alonso, and we are looking for the star quality. Uh, and in this case, they both have it. So we're gonna go to a decider die roll. Uh, so for uh, for this game, the dot will be Liverpool and the blank will be Chelsea. And oh, of course it hit a, all right, I'll re-roll it. Oh, okay, so it comes up. And so Alonso able to uh, outmaneuver Salah and get the ball back. And we are going the other way. All right. So here we go, we are in the 24th minute of play. 
And this time we got a total of four, and this is going to be a home field advantage, so the home team automatically creates an attack. Uh, so one of the uh, the big advantages of having home field is even if the other team, even if Liverpool had had the ball and we rolled that four, uh, Chelsea would immediately create an attack. So one of the advantages of being on your, your home pitch. All right, so here we go. Uh, uh, Chelsea getting their first attack of the match here in the 24th minute of play. Let's see if they can do something. All right, so we're going to rotate one. And this is not going to be a, a good shot. We can already tell because all Liverpool needs is just one square. Uh, so the offense would would have worked. Uh, they were good. Uh, Hazard, just by himself, has two triangles. Um, but Liverpool only needed one. So a uh, total of three on a defended. Let's see. So does defender two have the circle? That's Firmino. And yes, he does. So Firmino going to collect the shots. Uh, and it'll be Liverpool going the other way. All right, here we go. We are now in the 25th minute of play. Still a, uh, a one. Uh, one goal game. One nothing Liverpool. All right, so green die six. We'll rotate white four and the black two all right um let's see a uh, question from mr moley do you ever play the option of the green six switching players on the defending team uh so yeah um so it, it's you switch the um players from both sides so um what i do i just match up the colors just to keep it simpler so when you roll a six you change the white die player um on that position, and then you change the black die player, so you're switching on both sides. So, uh, and yes, I agree. It, it uh, allows you to rotate uh, the players a lot more uh, than the the normal rules. I, uh, when the rules first came out, on, uh, I have my score sheet off to the side, so I'm keeping track of the time uh, that way. So, all right. So here we go. In the 25th minute, we are going to get another take on. Uh, this time, it's going to be between Van Dyke and Conte. And we are looking for the star quality. And once again, they both have it. So we will go to the decider roll. Oh, and it's going to be Chelsea again. So no shot for Liverpool. So Chelsea defense starting to, to harden up. Uh, we will go to the 26th minute of play. All right, and on an 11. So Chelsea is going to get a shot on target. Um, but it will be deflected out of bounds. And they are going to get a corner kick here in the 27th minute of play. All right, so we will go to the corner kick chart. And let's see what happens. All right. Oh, hold the wrong. Okay, so one will change again. All right, so this time we got a seven. And when you get a result of six through 12 uh, on a corner kick, you just simply use the, uh, the normal results. So this is going to be a midfield battle. This time it'll just be for one minute. Uh, and we are looking for the pace quality. All right, so let's see. Liverpool has four, and Chelsea only has three. So it's going to be Liverpool on the attack again here in the 28th minute of play. And this looks like it's going to be a a good shot. Uh, they need four, and between Manet and Firmino, they have four. So there we go. And Chelsea has one, two. Oh, they actually have four squares, but the white die is six. So this is going to be an on target. Um, our assist is going to come from number one, and the shot at 10 is going to come uh, from two, and this is going to be another spectacular save. So Firmino with another shot on goal. Let's see, we get a 10. Oh, and that's going to be off the crossbar goal. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. So Kepa in goal, basically standing on his head, trying to keep his team in this match, um, getting no support from his offense. But here in the 28th minute of play, it's going to be Firmino with a goal uh, assisted by Monet. And it is 2 nothing Liverpool as we go into the 29th minute of play. It has been all Liverpool so far. Uh, Chelsea 
only uh, with one <laughs> one offensive attack so far. Oh boy, so they're going to have to regroup in the second half. All right, so here we go. Kickoff after the goal. Chelsea with it. This is going to be a build-up. Uh, we are looking for the strong quality. Chelsea has one, two, three, four, and Liverpool has all five. So Liverpool defense hanging tough here. Wow. Let's go to the next minute of play. And we get a 12. Let's see. A potential counterattack if defense has two squares, which they do. They actually have four right now. They gain possession and create an immediate counterattack. All right. So there we go. So Liverpool uh, with a turnover. And it's Chelsea going the other way. And they immediately are able to get an attack. So a potential breakaway here. Let's see. Oh, and unfortunately, they <laughs> roll a white die one. All right. So um, that will be defended. And it's asking, does the defensive player at one have a circle? That's Monet, and he actually has two. So Liverpool able to, uh, to get back on defense and stop that potential opportunity. Let's see. We are in the 31st minute of play now, and it'll be Liverpool going the other way. All right, so on a, f let's see, switch four, six. This is going to be a take on. So a take on between Monet and Alonso. And we're looking for the hard quality. They both have the hard quality. We'll let the decider die decide. Well, and uh, it's going to be Alonso who wins that matchup. So we are going the other way. We're now in the 32nd minute of play. Two, nothing. Liverpool so far. Uh, this is going to be a referee decision, this time on Chelsea. All right, so the ref is neutral to Chelsea. Let's see, we got a nine. On a roll of one to three, offside is called. All right, so no shot again for Chelsea. Offside's called. We're entering the 33rd minute of play. Two nothing Liverpool. And it feels like a lot more than that right now. Let's see, four. Oh, this is going to be another referee decision. Let's see, we get a total of three. So this is going to be a foul called on the defense. And we will get a direct free kick for Liverpool. All right. All right, so a direct free kick uh, works basically the same as the corner kick. Uh, we'll roll all three dice, and if the total is uh, between two and five, we'll use some special results. Um, otherwise, we will go back to the main chart. And we get a total of eight, so nothing happens on the direct free kick. We'll go back to the main chart here. So an eight, going to be a buildup, uh, and we are looking for tactics. I believe everyone, oh no, four for Liverpool and four for, uh, for Chelsea. So another decider die. And it's going to be, well, Chelsea has won all of those 50-50 <laughs> plays. All right, so we will be in the 35th minute of play now. Let's see if Chelsea can finally do something here. And no, nope, it's going to be another turnover. The Liverpool defense with a nice sliding tackle takes it away. And now we're up to the 36th minute of play. First half going by relatively smoothly. Let's see, nine. So that's going to be a sideline battle. Uh, when you, the total is six and three, uh, you mark off three minutes of play. And then we will go to... The referees out of bound ruling. This time the total is six, so it's going to go to the home team. So Chelsea with the ball here in the 39th minute of play. All right, so there's a six. So we'll rotate uh, Kovacic and Monet. So Salah comes back out. Uh, we get a total of four, so that's going to be a home field advantage. So it'll be Chelsea on the attack. Here we go. All right, so we'll rotate number two. Oh, and that's, well, actually, wait a minute. They have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, man, so they needed to roll anything. 
but a black six, but indeed that's what they rolled. All right, so, so the shot is defended. Oh, and this time it's asking if the offensive player at number five has a circle. Uh, oh, and unfortunately for Chelsea, Alonso does not, because uh, if he did, they would have been able to um, keep the ball, not stay on the attack, but they would have maintained possession. But instead, it is going to be Liverpool that gets the uh, the rebounds, and they are going the other way. All right, so we are now in the 40th minute of play. Let's see, and a total of two. So that's an attack, as long as the offense has at least one triangle, and they have much more than one. All right, so this will be the sixth attack for Liverpool. And let's see what happens. So we're going to rotate three and three. And let's see, I think this is going to be defended. Yeah, they got one, two, they have three squares. So this will be a defended. So uh, Salah's shot goes wide. Um, oh, but uh, it's going to be Alonso again that they're checking to see if he has a circle, and he does not. So this will be a missed shot for Liverpool, but they are going to maintain possession and try to set it up uh, to see if they can get another shot. All right, so Liverpool with the ball. Uh, this is going to be a midfield battle. And with a four, so we're going to mark off four minutes. Two, three, four. And now in the 45th minute of play, let's see who has the most uh, hard quality. One, two, three, four. All right, so it's going to be Liverpool right at the end of the first half with another chance for an attack. And let's see. And it is going to be defended. White die is three. So with a total of five. So let's see who's that. Milner, his shot goes wide. Um, the defense can't collect it. So Liverpool maintains it. And we're going to get one extra minute here. Uh, before the half ends. So if anyone can create an attack, um, we will work that out. And indeed, somebody will, because we're going to have a midfield battle. So let's see, uh, who has the most pace? That's probably going to be Liverpool. They have all five. <clears throat> all right, so if a half ends on a midfield battle, um, you extend the time and that the other team does get an attack to then end the half. Um, so Liverpool will get one more shot at this here in the extra minute that the referee is adding on. And let's see what happens. The offense is going to be good. They have definitely more than three. And we've got one, two. We only have three. All right, so this is going to be an on-target attack. The assist is going to come from number five. And with a total of eight, the shot is going to come from number two. Here we go. All right, so we'll rotate number three. That won't affect the shot. So right now our shot power, uh, let's see the assist. Fab, uh, Fabino has a one, and Firmino has a shot of three, so a total of four, that's good. We look at the on-target rating for Keppa, which he only has three. That's above that, that's gonna be a goal. All right, so we look here uh, at the goal chart. Wonderful finish. Great goal. So right at the end of the half, uh, Firmino gets his second goal of the match. In extra time, uh, assisted by uh, Fabino, which is actually his second assist. And it is 3-0 Liverpool. Oh, boy. As we head into the half. Yikes. All right, so there we go. So we'll um, get reset here for the the second half of play. Uh, let's see, is this an eight and a half by eleven mouse pad board? Um, it is. Um, it's. Let me just check out the Inked Gaming. I believe it's their small mat. Um, just a sec. I can tell you exactly which one it is. Is it the little play mat? I think that that's what it is. So it's a um, 16 by 10. That seems about right. Um, 
let me just see if I can pull up um, the mat that uh, that Bob Hansen did for this. It should say on there. Oh, it doesn't. Usually the um, <laughs> the um, the boards have a uh, um, the size right in the board. All right, just a sec. I will I will let you know if that is the right size. I believe it is. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll load it up on the uh, inked gaming and then show you guys um, so you can see what it looks like. And then uh, after the video, I'll, I'll add the, um, yeah, that's what it is. It's a 16 by 10. Um, and here I will go back to my new screen. So that's what it looks like on inked gaming. Um, and the, uh, the mat you can download um, on... Al Wilson's Play Goodies uh, page, um, and it's the only one that's under uh, Soccer Blast. So you can get that download for free, and then head on over to Inked Gaming, and um, go under Custom, and it's the little play mat, 16 by 10. I just drag and drop it there. Um, and when you check out, be sure to use the code TOWER10, uh, and you can save 10% off on your, uh, on your purchase. Well, there we go. Thanks for the question, Robert. Uh, I, uh, I I really do like using these mats. Um, like I said, especially I like that you have the uh, the referee um, disposition right on the middle, uh, which the original board does not have. Um, so, and then you know it's nice and small. It uh, rolls up. You can travel with it. And uh, yeah, just looks nice on the gaming table too. I, I really like it when uh, when I show off the game here on my show. So, all right. So second half, and Chelsea's going to need to make some some changes. They are going to try to come back in this match. So uh, we will have substitutions at some point here. I'll show you how how those guys work. Um, but for now, it's going to be Chelsea getting the second half kickoff. And we are underway. All right, so we'll rotate number four, and we are going to have a referee decision right first thing here. All right, so we get a total of 11. Let's see, deflected out of bounds. So we're going to, the offense is going to get a corner kick. All right, so out of bounds. And a corner kick coming up for Chelsea. And nothing's going to happen there. We'll have a midfield battle, so we'll mark off one minute of play. <clears throat> and then we're looking for the pace quality. And this is probably going to be Liverpool again. Yeah, they have all five players out there. So this will be Liverpool back on the attack. Looking to add to their total. And this is going to be... I believe this is not going to... Yeah, because they have, they have five. All right, so the offense not able to... Uh, get on the same page there so this will be defended a total of eight so Firmino shot goes wide oh however Salah is able to control the rebound and it'll be Liverpool still in control uh, now in the 49th minute of play all right so six going to be a take on uh, take on between uh, Giorgino and uh, Rudiger and we're looking for the touch quality. Both players have it. Let's see what the decider die says. Oh, and it's going to be Chelsea. They have won all of those 50-50s. All right, so no shot for Liverpool there. Now we're in the 50th minute of play. Chelsea back on the attack. And this is going to be a midfield battle. So we'll mark off uh, two minutes of play. And at the start of the 52nd minute, let's see... Team with the most touch qualities. So Liverpool has four. And Chelsea has four. So we will again go to the decider die. Oh, and it's going to be Liverpool that time that wins it. All right, so Liverpool on the attack again. 
maybe put the match out of reach here if it's not already out of reach um let's see a total of four that's gonna be good and one two three four defense all right so this is gonna be an on-target shot the assist coming from number two and a total of ten is oh the shot's also gonna come from two all right so no assist on this so Firmino takes a shot and gonna need another spectacular save Let's see, total is seven, a two or better, and it's saved. So Keppa with another spectacular save. Keeps it at three, nothing. Uh, but Liverpool will have a corner kick coming up here in the 53rd minute. All right, let's see. Um, do folks bring play games and teams for open play in tournaments uh, at the con? Oh, yes. Um, so a question about the, the convention that's coming up uh, just in, oh boy, two days I'll be leaving on a jet plane. <clears throat> the, uh, there is plenty of opportunity for open play um, there. So yes, there was people that brought uh, their games that they wanted to play. Uh, there's always table space uh, for people if they don't want to be in a um, in one of the official tournaments. They can certainly do uh, you know whatever kind of gaming that they want. Uh, there are a few copies of... <coughs> of uh, games available for people to grab um but uh for all of the events uh all of the materials will be provided for people that are in the official events so all right so here we go a uh, corner kick coming up for liverpool and that's going to be nothing doing there I'll rotate five and two and at a seven this is going to be a midfield battle we'll mark off six precious minutes and let's see, on the 59th minute of play, <clears throat> uh, it's a star power check. So I think that's going to go to Liverpool. They have all five and just three for Chelsea. So another attack for Liverpool here in the 59th minute. Rotate number five. I believe this is going to be good. Let's see, one, two, three. This will be an on-target shot. All right, so the assist coming from number five and with a total of five uh it's going to be 04 or 05 taking the shot so we'll um we'll have milner take the shot or we'll have number four all right so here we go on target shot rotate number two that won't change anything oh boy i think this is going to be good let's see the total is three so robertson has an assist of two milner with one so that's good three and the four is above Keppa's on target rating. So indeed that will be goal number four, uh, this time coming from Milner. Oh boy, and it is all Liverpool right now. Uh, assisted by Robertson. And it is four nil here as we enter the 60th minute of play. Might be all over but the crying for Chelsea oh boy all right so here we go 60th minute of play um, we will start getting subs in very soon let's see this is gonna be a midfield battle another six minutes of play one two three four five six and star that's gonna go to Liverpool let's see we're in the 66th minute of play now um, I think that they are instead going to use uh, the uh, the clock kill. This is one of the advanced options uh, for the game. So in the rule book, uh, near the very end, uh, there are some advanced options that you can use. Um, so the clock kill instead of an attack. Uh, so basically, um, in these situations, when a team would begin an attack, you just mark off two minutes of time, and then uh, the next minute begins with the same team in possession. Um, so let's see what's the so if a team leads by more goals then there are minutes remaining divided by 10 so they are up for nothing uh and we have less than 30 minutes of play so they will indeed they're gonna have mercy <laughs> on chelsea so we'll mark off two minutes of play and a clock kill uh and it'll be liverpool with the ball here in the 68th minute of play all right, this time we get a total of six. This will be a take on. 
uh, between uh, Milner and Pedro, and we're looking for the strong quality. They both have it, and it's going to be Chelsea that wins the matchup. So no shot for Liverpool. We're now in the 69th minute of play, and we get a total of five, so that's going to be a referee decision. All right, referee decision. And we get a five. Let's see, on a die of one to five, offsides is called. So no shot again for Chelsea. And oh goodness, this is, it's not pretty for Chelsea fans, but fantastic for Liverpool fans. So, all right, so here we go. Liverpool with the ball, 70th minute of play. We are going to have a sideline battle after we rotate four and five. So five and a four uh, will be two minutes of play marked off for a midfield battle. And then we'll see what the ref's call is for the out of bounds. So uh, the trailing team will get the inbounds. So it'll be Chelsea with the ball here in the 72nd minute of play. And I think that they are going to bring in a sub. So there are a couple of spots here where subs um, where you have to call in subs, um, but I'm going to do it manually just because uh, the match is pretty much over at this point, but um, just <laughs> so you guys can at least see how that works. All right, so we're going to bring in uh, uh, Olivier Garoud, Garoud, Garoud. Um, and we are going to replace, I think we're going to replace one of our uh, defensive players. Since we don't need defense, we need offense at this point. Uh, so Rudiger will go off, and uh, when you replace a uh, or when you bring in a sub, and he has a um, a symbol. Um, well, let's see. Oh no, sorry. It's uh, if you replace a defender with a forward, um, or if you replace a forward with a defender, you get a red substitute chip. Um, the red chips can never be lost, unlike the green or the blue. And uh, the red chips allow you to add six triangles to an attack. So basically, if they get an attack, um, it'll be on target as long as the defense does not um, match up their, um, their defense on the square. So, all right. So here we go. 70th, 72nd minute of play. Chelsea with the ball. They've got uh, their first substitute in. All right. So rotate there. Oh, and it's going to be a defensive call or a referee call, rather. Let's see. And an 11 uh, deflected out of bounds. Offense gets a corner kick. Okay. So missed shots for Chelsea and a corner kick coming up. Giroux. Oh, okay. Olivier Giroux. Thank you, Mr. Moly. Okay, so here we go. A corner kick coming up for Chelsea. Oh, nothing's going to happen there. Nine will be another midfield battle. Uh, six and three is going to mark off three minutes of time. Or a sideline battle, rather. And let's see who is going to get it. Uh, the visiting team will win this one. So uh, Liverpool will get the, the throw in. Now we're at the 76th minute of play. All right. So a take on. This is going to be between... Uh, <laughs> Giorgino, Wijnaldum, oh, I think I meant that, and uh, and Giroud, and we are looking for the strong quality. They both have it. Oh, we'll roll the decider die, and it's going to go to Chelsea. They hold strong there, so no shot for Liverpool. Now in the 77th minute of play, can Chelsea at least get a goal to <laughs> to break this up? All right, let's see, at 11. All right, so in the final 30 minutes of play, the green die offense player and opposing defensive player have to substitute instead of switching. All right, so that means that uh, Willian is going to come out. And let's see. We'll um, replace him with how about uh, Loftus-Cheek. Uh, so he has a 
he at least has a one of the symbols on there. So, uh, but he's a midfielder, so he will get a blue chip. Uh, blue chips can be lost if this player, if the stack rotates, um, and a blue chip adds three uh, triangles or squares uh, to a potential attack. All right, and then Henderson is also going to have to come out. Um, he is going to be replaced. They just need defense at this point, so uh, Joel Maddop is going to come in, uh, and he will get a blue chip as well. All right, and then uh, it's going to be a shot deflected for Chelsea, uh, and they are going to get a corner kick in the 78th minute of play. All right, so here comes a corner kick. And, oh, it's going to be a referee decision on the corner kick. All right, so we'll bring this out. And the referee decision uh, on the kick chart. Let's see. Five is the total. Oh, no. Offensive foul for pushing. And the defense is going to get possession. Oh, boy. So a costly foul. I mean, I guess as costly as a foul can be in a four to nothing match. But uh, so a foul on Chelsea. Eliminates any chance they had on that corner kick. And we'll go now into the 79th minute of play. Pretty much all over some of the hardcore Chelsea fans perhaps leaving the stadium at this point. Uh, 12. Oh, first we'll rotate 5. Uh, 12 is going to be a counterattack. Um, oh, no, except that they don't have two... <laughs> <laughs> they don't have two squares. Um, oh, goodness. Well, they could use... I think they're going to two squares. They'll get the counterattack. All right, and now they are going to use this red chip so that they have six triangles uh, for their shot. Um, let's see. And I guess they will use their chip as well so they'll add three squares uh to there all right so let's see what happens all right so unfortunately it's going to be defended uh let's see a total of 10. oh first we'll rotate number one so 10 defended um so uh Giorgino's shot goes wide oh but hey the loftus cheek who just came in uh, is going to control the rebound and so they will maintain possession here in the 80th minute of play. All right. Um, and then going between the 79th and the 80th minute, uh, if you have not um, had a substitution on either teams, uh, you are forced to at this point. So a choice for the, um, the coach. Or if uh, you're playing solo, you could just roll the green die uh, to decide who has to go out. So, All right. So here we go. Um, Chelsea with the ball, but match probably pretty much over. Let's see. Uh, we're going to have a midfield battle, one minute, and we're looking for pace. Let's see. Liverpool has four, and Chelsea only has two. So Liverpool's going to win that, but they are going to just use the clock kill. So two minutes of play go off. We're at the 83rd minute of play now, four nothing. It's been all Liverpool. Oh, boy, so another... Midfield battle. Again, it's for pace. Um, oh, we do have to rotate. Um, but Mane also has pace. So that, they'll kill the clock again. 86 minute of play. The Liverpool fans in attendance starting a chant. We'll rotate. Um, and rotate. Let's see. A three is going to be... Oh, highlight reel. We have not gone to highlight reel m i don't believe yet uh, let's see what happens highlight reel m and we get a seven um the offensive player has an opportunity for a header but if the green die is a six no header deflected out of bounds on a corner kick all right so out of bounds um but liverpool will get a corner kick coming up here now in the 87th minute of play And nothing doing there. Rotate number four. So nine is going to be a sideline battle. We'll mark off three minutes. And then see who gets it. Uh, the trailing team. So Chelsea will get at least one more chance 
for an attack, potentially. Uh, let's see. All right, so midfield battle, and we are going to be going into extra time at this point. So let's see, we're going to mark off four minutes. One, two, three. So we're in the third extra minute. Let's see how many minutes the referee is going to give us. Uh, and we're going to get the full six. All right, so three minutes of extra time left. Uh, let's see. Star. Chelsea has four. And Liverpool has one, two. Has four as well. So decide or die. Uh, and it's going to go Chelsea's way. So they will get an attack. Can they at least save face and get a, uh, a goal here? Uh, we're in the fourth extra minute in the second half. Uh, so the 90, 94th minute of play. And, oh boy, I think this is going to do it. Or Well, they're going to at least get a non-target shot. Uh, do they have... Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> they don't have... They, wow, they only have two triangles right now. Oh, boy. it's Well, it's been that kind of day for Chelsea. Um, all right, so let's see. A defended shot at nine. So um, Kovacic's shot goes wide. Um, but Pedro is going to get the rebound. And so Chelsea maintains possession here now in the 95th minute of play. And let's see. We are going to change just uh, D5 at this point. All right. And at 11, this is going to be a shot on target, out of bounds, um, and a corner kick coming up. All right. So out of bounds, Chelsea... All right, so here in the 96 minute of play, we'll have a corner kick uh, before the whistle blows. And let's see what happens. And nothing's nothing's going to happen from that. All right, so rotate number three, eight is going to be a, well, a potential buildup. Let's see. Do they win uh, for strong? Liverpool has one, two, has all five. Oh, and Chelsea has all five. All right, well. Maybe they'll get one last chance. Uh, no, they will not. <laughs> so it would be Liverpool that would get a chance for the attack. Um, but uh, they will instead just kill the clock. And there we have it. That is your final from Chelsea. It is Liverpool 4 and Chelsea nothing. Oh, my. Uh, and uh, Firmino is going to definitely be our... Our player of the match, uh, he had two goals in this, and uh, really it was all Liverpool. They, uh, uh, let's see, my unofficial tally is that they had eleven separate attacks uh, to only four for uh, for Chelsea. So it was uh, definitely a, a battle of control, and uh, they did get a couple of lucky uh, rolls on the spectacular save charts, um, but. Uh, Sometimes that's that's what happens. All right, let's see, Mr. Moley says, uh, Stamford Bridge used to be a tasty ground to visit as a Liverpool fan back in the 70s and 80s. Oh, my. Hardcore indeed. Well, that's probably something better discussed uh, offline, I guess. So, um, But, yeah, I mean, so as, a, uh, uh, as an American who's just only recently gotten into uh, watching professional soccer... Um, but as someone who is a, a baseball fan, I really do appreciate the history that is behind all of these clubs uh, and just how long they have been in existence. So even some of the um, clubs that are terrible nowadays, uh, you know, have a history 100 years ago that they were, you know, really good. So uh, trying to school myself on uh, the intricacies of of the, the English Pro League um, and uh, trying to... Uh, get this to my table more often. So um, I was hoping to have a friend come over who is a lifelong Liverpool fan from Ireland, but uh, just did not work out. But uh, maybe someday we'll have a, a two-man booth here for a, a soccer blast game. But uh, but there we go, guys. That is, uh, is our Wild Card Tuesday for today. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I wasn't sure how many, um, uh, how many people I would have show up. You never know. Um, with these early mornings, but I'm glad I got to, to see a few different names uh, in the live chat. So I uh, appreciate it. Um, and like I said, this will be continuing now through the end of August. Uh, we'll be combining our Tuesday and Wednesday show into this one 
Wildcard Tuesday. So, uh, so there we go. Uh, thanks, everybody. And again, this was Soccer Blast that you were watching uh, using the 2018-19 EPL set that is now <coughs> now available. Um, links are down below. Uh, the mats, I will post links uh, where you can download uh, the image for free. Uh, and then you can go to Inked Gaming and get it printed out for yourself. And be sure to use the code TOWER10 and you'll save 10% off your purchase. And that's good for any purchase that you make on Inked Gaming as well. So, all right, guys, uh, that is all for now uh, until next week. Um, unless you're at the con, if you are at the, the play convention, I will definitely look forward to meeting you there. Please come up and introduce yourself. Um, let me know what your screen name is because I might not recognize <laughs> your, your real name. So, But I, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, some friends that I made last year. And uh, looking forward to seeing Keith and Sam. So it should be a lot of fun. I'll give you guys a, uh, an update next week uh, when I come back. So, all right. That is uh, all for now. Uh, until then, get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody. Oh, have a good day, everybody. There we go. <laughs>